Korean quilt. It's good to have you back with us on Korean Quilt. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Richard. Thanks for joining us once again, your guide to the Korean language and culture. Richard, did you have a good Lunar New Year? Oh, I had a wonderful Lunar New Year. How about yourself, Anna? Yes, I did as well. It's always good to see your relatives. I agree. Now, getting on to today's expression, we don't want to waste anyone's time here. Okay, well, since the New Year holiday is officially over, I thought we could learn the expression, did you have a good long holiday? 연휴 잘 보냈어요? Mm -hmm. 연휴 잘 보냈어요. Did you have a good, long holiday? Mm -hmm. 연휴 means a holiday that lasts for two or more consecutive days. So you can translate it as a long holiday or you could just say simply holiday. And 잘 보냈어요 means did you have a good one? Right, so why don't we practice it a few times? 연휴 잘 보냈어요? Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to Jeju Island to see my parents. Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Richard, 연휴 잘 보냈어요? Yeah, I spent it with some friends. Wow, wonderful. 연휴 잘 보냈어요? Well, I just stayed home and caught up on my sleep. Oh, that's nice. So here, when you want, you know, because in English, the thing is we have long weekend, mm -hmm. Friday or Monday. But in Korean, it's a little bit different with the yunhyu because you can have it in the middle of the week. That's right. So like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is considered a long holiday. But we don't really have that word in English, do we? No, we don't. Yeah. So that's why this word is actually more useful because it's used in both situations. Yunhyu chal bonesayo. Mm hmm. So one more time. Let's practice. Yunhyu chal bonesayo. Yunhyu chal bonesayo. Okay, great. I hope you all had a super, super holiday, and we'll see you here again tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.